Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal demo for you. This time it is the Rook Overdrive from Mojo Hand Effects. Here is a clean tone. <laughs> Fender Custom Shop Esquire into a Swart AST 112 combo amplifier mic to the Sennheiser E906 and here is the Rook. <laughs> So here we have an incredibly uh, versatile overdrive pedal from Mojo Hand Effects. And I will say one thing, this is a unique pedal. Um, and I say unique because a lot of pedals try to do a lot of things well and end up doing not a thing well. This pedal does a lot of things well. It's a really, really cool pedal and um, it gives you some great options here. So this is a volume control, gain control, uh, bass control and treble control and there is a lot of EQing available with just those two knobs just giving the control the low end and the top end um, rather than just a singular tone knob um, really really helpful when dialing in the sound you want with different guitars things like that in the middle we have a sort of a switch here the upper position where it is now is a sort of a classic overdrive sound uh, the lower position sort of adds some more gain stages the middle position is a little bit more clarity, great for sort of clean boosting, and I will try and show you that now. Um, and we will use this pedal as a boost with sort of a sort of a light gain and a, a good bit of volume. And I'll show you kind of how it retains your guitar sound. Um, that middle position is really clear. And here we go. So here's um, unaffected signal. <laughs> So there's a great amount of volume you can get with this pedal, but it really just kind of sounds like my guitar and my amp. So that tone um, shaping control you have with the bass and treble knobs is very, very handy. Uh, figure out how to use it for your guitar and your amp, your setup, and you have a great clean boost with some EQing available. Now, uh, let's just go back to a bit more of an overdriven sound, and, um, and I will show you some uh, clipping options here now. So here is the uh, more classic overdrive sound. Um, so here's clean. And now we'll go to sort of a more gain setting. just briefly showing you how that switch works. Um, you'd probably want to adjust uh, the volume and uh, gain accordingly when you switch between these different positions, as well as your volume, uh, sorry, as well as your treble and your bass knobs. If we go back to that middle position now, we're going to have an incredible amount of volume uh, because there's the, we've removed some clipping in that middle position. So I'm going to back that volume off a little bit. Um, actually, sorry, let's back off the gain a little bit and show you a little bit of a lighter gain um, overdrive sound with this pedal. Um. One other thing that I just have to say, I was just playing lightly uh, with my pick, plucking those notes, 
and it really doesn't add a whole lot. But now if I dig in, you'll find you'll hear a bit more overdrive. So. change the volume on my guitar at all or the amp or anything else just played lighter with my pick and it is incredibly incredibly sensitive to your pick attack on your string so with that's really kind of cool if you're a passionate player you can leave your overdrive pedal on just play lighter in maybe the verses and then really dig in in the choruses and you really get that overdriven sound to sort of take you to that next level super super cool and um so um there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the Mojohan Rook. There's so much in this pedal. I encourage you to uh, check it out, um, to check out their demos, and to pick one up if you can and give it a try um, because you can dial in an infinite almost amount of tones with the clipping switch and uh, the bass and treble control. There's just so much in there from mojohandeffects.com. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you have to, subscribe if you can. Either way, have a good one. Later.